guys, we're with Gutter Fighting Secrets. So I decided to um, put a video up that narrates you through a typical day of training for me. Now, this isn't the training that I do at the gym. I don't do a lot of filming at the gym, at least certainly not for YouTube. But I do um, I do try to film myself whenever possible and uh, and watch, right, privately, just to see where my mistakes lie and all that. But today I was able to film um, a private training session with my friend and pro fighter, Taylor, Taylor Howe. He's the guy I went to Thailand with. And um, I'll narrate you through kind of the typical training day that we did, that we do. Now, today was a little bit softer and it was more of a recovery day. But what I'm doing right now is uh, Monday, I do the fight team training. It's an hour and a half. <laughs> I'll be getting my ass kicked really more like it by a bunch of young kids. And then um, Tuesday is usually weights and no-gi jiu-jitsu class, just a regular standard no-gi jiu-jitsu class. Wednesday is back to the fight team training. Uh, Thursday, I train with Taylor, and it's kind of like my recovery day as well, but we do a lot of skill-based training. So I'm not getting beat up too hard, but I'm getting the reps in there. And then Friday is wrestling with the fight team training again, and weekends are for recovery and for the ladies, huh? So uh, that's my schedule, and I was able to put today's Thursday training session with Taylor, film the whole thing, and I'll narrate you guys through a typical training session that an amateur and a pro fighter do together. All right, so I hope you enjoy it. Any comments, throw them down below. It should be interesting for you guys who don't um, who don't train a lot of sports, combat sports just to see how well it translates over to street play. All right, hope you enjoy it, guys. All right, so we usually start out just checking kicks back and forth. Pretty important, especially in combat sports. Guys throw a lot of these round kicks, Muay Thai kicks, so checking them is pretty damn important. So he'll throw some low kicks, some head kicks, remind me to keep my knee shield up, keep my hands up. I'm going to just go back and forth like that. I'll throw some kicks at him. My kicks aren't great in fact they're complete shit to be honest with you but we go back and forth and just keep the muscle memory up with that next thing we usually do is just throw some hands do some real light slipping and rolling we we'll usually do i don't know 10 20 30 reps each just practice moving around slipping and rolling and then after the slipping and rolling we usually practice clenching up. I told him to go ahead and get a body lock on me after that. So we'll go back and forth and just practice this MMA stuff. Like I said, we usually do about yeah, 20 reps or so with each, with each skill and progress from there. Then we'll usually go into some tie clenching type stuff. Today we're doing more knees. We're just getting used to pushing each other back with the knees and also used to, used to taking the knees and giving them as well. And that's important. You know, we go real soft with each other, but when it comes to sparring or an actual fight, you flinch a lot less when you're used to throwing and receiving those knees as well. Now we're just working on tying it up with the tie clench, working a bit of that stuff, just keeping it in the muscle memory. Again, I find that the more we do this stuff, real light, real slow, the better it, the better it is in, in sparring when we're going a little bit harder. Or if you're going with some of the guys, they go real hard, so you really got to be on point with it. So that's what we're doing here is we're just practicing the clenching. And then Taylor wanted to work on sweeping a little bit, so he's practicing on sweeping that back leg. He really wanted to get a lot of reps in on this today, which I was glad to do because it's an invaluable skill to have. So just throwing him some bullshit kicks, talking about girls and stuff while we practice that sweep. And then we go back to more slipping and rolling. Just get that in the old muscle memory there. You really can't do this stuff enough. Really is super important. You know, head movement and stuff like that's super important. I told him, hey, let's throw some knees on, it, on the end in there. So that's what we're doing here. Again, we usually go back and forth, 10, 20 reps, something like that, each guy. And then I'll go into the corner, and I'll practice slipping, rolling, throwing a knee or so. Boom. Slip and roll, throw that knee. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to practice clenching it up a little bit there after that, making sure I look good in the camera. 
slip, roll, boom, clench it up. And again, I think I got maybe 10, 15 reps in, but every rep really counts, especially if you do actually want to fight. And we decided to practice catching some teeps, pairing them off, another super important skill set to have. So we go back and forth. I don't know, we probably did 20, 30 reps each, something like that. And Taylor was practicing uh, kicking on the end and then I practiced boxing off the end. I got hands, but my kicks could use some work, vice versa with Taylor. So we usually try to play to our strengths at this point and uh, save the stuff we need to work on for going on the bags or when we're in class or something like that. But I found that you really want to play to your strengths a lot more when you're doing this muscle memory type work. You know, make it, make it real good and polish it up, so to speak. And then Taylor said, well, shit, I got to go. He's got to work. He's got to go make money so we can go and do more training together around the world. So we decided to finish up with our conditioning. And what we usually do is punch each other in the face and in the stomach and in the head. Punch each other in the face to strengthen our jaw and uh, make sure that our reflexes are sharp so that we're not blinking or anything when we're getting hit in the face. And again, we're not hitting each other hard at all whatsoever. Then we condition the legs, we go back and forth. He'll kick my legs, kick my side, I'll kick his. And we just condition each other that way. And it really does make a difference. So we'll usually do 10 on each side, each guy. Today we didn't do any uh, inside kicks, but nonetheless, like I always say, every single rep counts. And it really does strengthen you up a little bit. So that's what we're doing here before we go. And then before we end it, we're gonna do some pummeling. Practice uh, pounding that shoulder into each other's chest. And, uh, and then after that, we're gonna do some, uh, some knees into each other. Again, you know, I find personally that that really is uh, something I like to do a lot. I don't like to do it, don't get me wrong, I'm not a psycho, but it's important for me to get conditioned and get in those knees because those things freaking hurt. And then after that, my buddy was watching outside, he came by, he wanted to give my number to someone to take on as a private client, which I'm always glad to do, the more the merrier. And that's it. So that's a very abridged version of our training that we do. So well, I appreciate you watching that, guys, and checking out you know, one of my bridge training sessions. At some point, I'll try to film the amateur fight team that I'm on. Uh, it can be a little challenging because guys might not want me to film and someone's in the video and then they find out about my YouTube channel and they beat me up even more. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'll think about it, but um, I'll try to get more of my personal training in there um, so you guys can see what uh, <laughs> what my training schedule looks like. Guys, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Get out there and train. Do some hard training. Push yourself. It really makes a man out of you. All right. See you next time, guys. Cheers. Man.